welcome to Taffy's Texas Kitchen and today we're going to be making uh, just regular loaf bread uh, and I'm going to get all my ingredients together and I'll be right back. So in my stand mixer I've got uh, two cups of water, warm water, just needs to be warm to the fingertip or like you were making a baby's bottle. You don't want it too hot like if you get it too hot it'll kill the yeast so i've got two cups of warm water uh, one packet of yeast or if you're using like if you buy the yeast in bulk it'd be one and one table one and one half tablespoon of yeast and uh two thirds cup of sugar and i'm going to let that bloom uh for about 10 minutes make sure the yeast is active and when we come back, hopefully it'll be uh, bubbly and active yeast. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, you can see that our uh, yeast is active, and I don't know if you can see that real good or not, but it's uh, nice and frothy. It's got a foam on the top. Okay, and at this time, we're going to add one-fourth cup of oil. I'm going to hold on just one second. I'll be back. Okay, and I'm going to start. We're going to need six cups of flour, and I'm going to turn the mixer on low. You never want to do it more than a two when you're making bread, or you can burn out your motor. So I'm just going to gradually add the flour. I'm going to add my salt. You don't want to add the salt with the yeast. Salt kills yeast, so you want to add that, make sure you add that separately. I'm going to go ahead and add another cup of flour. Continue to add a little bit of flour and then I'll get back come back when we're closer and you do want to stop it every just every once in a while and see how the flour is built up around the sides make sure you scrape that down and I don't know if I said they're not that I'm using a uh, bread flour this time most of the time I use all-purpose flour but this time I'm trying real bread flour see if that makes any difference than my uh, normal loaves. And so far I've got about three cups of flour in here. So I'll be right back. And we're starting to get real close. As you can see the uh, the dough is starting to pull up against the dough hook. And the goal is to when the all the dough gets off the bottom and pulls completely away from the sides. This one will be ready. So we're getting pretty close. I'll be back. Okay, now I know it's kind of loud, but it's you can see how it's pulled completely away from the sides. And now that that's happened, I'm going to set a timer for eight minutes, and then we're just going to let it go, and the mixer will... Uh, do the job for us. Do the kneading job for us. Okay, as you can see that it's came away from the sides of the bowl. And so now I'm going to take it out and get, get the dough completely out. And I got my grandson Eli helping me film today. So we're going to get all this mess out of the way here. I'm just going to put 
put a tiny bit of flour here on my surface. A little bit on my hands. And we're gonna get it. Try to get all the dough out of the try to get all the dough out of here because you're gonna put it back in back in here with a little bit of oil to rise. I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour on here and just knead it a few times until it forms a ball. It's a real nice soft dough. And just with that little bit of flour it's already the stickiness is already off. But it's such a nice soft dough. It's beautiful. Just knead it a couple times. Get it into a ball. And then we're just gonna oil, put a little oil inside of there. Don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. I kind of got a whole lot. And then we're gonna put your bread back and then we're gonna roll it around and turn it over so it's greased all over. All right, and this needs to set for rise for an hour. I'm gonna put it in my oven with the, just the light on, and I'll see you back in just a minute. Okay, so you can see it's doubled, doubled twice in size. And now what we want to do is punch out the air, punch it down. And at this point, I'm gonna put just a little bit of flour down. It might be a little tacky. Put a little flour on top. Just a little bit on the surface. And the main purpose now is we don't really want to knead it again because it's been all kneaded. But you want to make sure that you get all of the air bubbles out because if you don't get all the air out of it then when the bread rises when you put it in the loaf pan and it rises again you'll have holes in the middle of your bread we don't want that so you want to get it just all the way flattened out and i'm going to get a knife out of the drawer so we can Cut it in half. I'm just kind of making one big square. And then I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to cut it a little bit less than in half. So I actually got two different size loaf pans, bread pans. And one thing on your bread pans, uh, you really want, you do not want to use a glass pan when you're make, making bread. Uh, it will not make a, a good outside of your bread. It's better to have a dark pan, a metal pan. And the dark pan, the darker the pan is, the darker the crust is on your bread. And so then we're just going to roll up, roll it up, try to do a tight roll. And as you're doing it, making sure you're pressing out all the air. And then we're going to roll it in on itself. And we're just going to put the... Just get that one out of the way. Get my pan over here so I can kind of judge the size of my loaf.
put it in there just like that. See what it looks like. And then we'll do the same to this. Press out all the air. We don't want to have any bubbles in the middle of our bread. it together you roll it back in on itself and pinch it together okay and then I'm just gonna put it together like that and put a plastic bag over it set for 30 more minutes and then after that I'm gonna uh, bake it in a 350 oven for 40, 40 to 45 minutes and we'll bring bring you back when it's all done hi this is Joe he just came over to visit hey guys we been the video today's <laughs> week we tour Woo! Come over here, Alex. Hi. Say hello to our friends. This is Alex. Say hello. Hi. How old are you, Alex? I'm going to Alright, say bye to our friends, Joe. Bye, guys. The video is over. Okay, here's my two loaves of bread, and I'm going to about to put them in the oven. I just want to let you see what they look like after they've risen on their own in the loaf pans. Okay, here we got the bread out of the oven and I put a little butter on it. And uh, I'm going to have Eli taste it and we'll be right back. I'm going to cut a slice. And that's the inside of the bread. You can see it. it came out real pretty. Then we're going to have Eli take a bite. warm. It's hot. It's hot. How is it? It's good. It's good? Tastes like bread? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Alright. Well, thank you guys for joining us. You guys have a good week. Thank you. Bye.